Hey guys and welcome to Rate My Beauty. So I haven't made a video in a really long time and since it is the beginning of a new month I decided I would do my July favorites video. Um, I have a few products that I found to be really great in the month of July and a few products that weren't so great. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I love John Frieda products, except for their hair color. Um, so I decided I'd try the Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightening Shampoo. It claims to gradually lighten and is safe for all blondes. Um, I have naturally light brown hair, um, but I have it bleached and highlighted blonde, and I thought I would give this a try. Um, it's a really good shampoo and conditioner set if you're wanting just an amazing smell and something that really deep conditions your damaged hair. It's not like the purple shampoos that take the brassiness out of your hair, and I didn't find that it really lightened my hair. But it's amazing shampoo and conditioner set, so I would definitely go ahead and try it. Also in the John Frieda line is the Frizzy's Dream Curls Curl Perfecting Spray. Um, if you have curly hair, wavy hair, and you're just wanting a light hold without making your hair super crunchy like using a mousse would do, um, I would definitely recommend using this product. And it is um, another product from John Frieda that has an amazing smell and it kind of lives up to what it's expected to do. So if you're looking for a light hold just to kind of hold your curls in place or give you a slight wave without making your hair look crunchy or wet, I would definitely give this a try. And yet another product by John Frieda is the Full Repair Style Revival Heat Activating Styling Spray. It's for all day full bodied styles. Now if you have have used other heat activating sprays um, to protect your hair and you found that it leaves your hair sticky or leaves a residue over um, onto your flat iron, you will want to try this product by John Frieda. It does not leave your hair sticky, it does not cause buildup in your flat iron, and it cuts your drying time probably by half. It is an amazing product, smells amazing. It's definitely worth the eight or nine dollars you spend. Moving away from hair products, um, my next July favorite product is actually an eyeshadow. And I got this at my local Walgreens for only $2. It's the Color Me Glow 12 Shades Eyeshadow by Profusion. Um, as you could tell, it offers a, a pretty wonderful palette of lots of range of colors. You have purples, you have pinks, you have bronze, you have greens, you have yellows, you have more like olive colors. If you're looking for a super pigmented inexpensive eyeshadow that'll be great for just a special day out or going partying or whatever. You're just wanting a lot of color to show off. This is definitely your best bet and it's only $2. And my last favorite product of July is by Physicians Formula. It's their Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in the shade of Natural. And as you could tell, it just offers a really um, natural, shimmery, pink blush for your skin. Um, it smells like roses, which is kind of like a clean feeling on your skin rather than cakey. Um, and it's also a compact where it offers a mirror and um, a brush to apply the blush. So if you're just looking for a a quick to add a quick glow to your skin um, and it does come in a range of colors I would definitely try this product by Physicians Formula and unfortunately I did find some products in the month of July that did not live up to expectations my first product which I'm probably the most disappointed in is by Chi and it's their keratin mist leave-in strengthening treatment um, it first of all let me just say that it smells amazing it almost smells like a really good men's cologne um, aside from that it offers nothing for your hair it does not strengthen your hair it does not act as a conditioner it just feels like I'm spraying perfume in my hair so if you're if you're looking for um, a quick spritz of fragrance for your hair um, I would definitely recommend this maybe not for $15 but it is not a strengthening treatment and I would probably avoid this product the next product let down is by Suave Professionals. It is their dry conditioner spray. Um, I know a lot of their shampoos have gotten rave reviews, their dry shampoos. So I actually decided to try the conditioner um, since it was on clearance and I'm glad it was on clearance because it was basically felt like I was using a hairspray and not a conditioner. I left my hair crunchy, it looked wet, it was just a mess. It smells super fruity which um, not like the Garnier products, but just almost like a rotten fruit smell. It was just not worth the money, especially if you paid full price. 
And the last product that did not live up to expectations is a Brazilian Keratin Therapy 14-Day Smoothing Treatment by Organics. Um, and I watched others' videos about how it reduced up to 95% of curl and frizz for up to 14 days, but it just did not live up to expectations. For $10 to $15, all it did was make my hair smell really bad, like an overpowering coconut, um, cocoa butter smell, and it made my hair so sticky and waxy that if I actually... Um, brush my hair a certain way, it would stay that way. Um, so, And I can certainly get straight hair just by flat ironing it and using a heat spray. So for the money and for the, the smell that would not go away, I would not recommend it at all. And thanks for watching my July favorites video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe below. And if you have any beauty products that you're wanting me to test out, please comment below and I will try to do a review on those. Um, so stay tuned. I have another hair tutorial video coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.